All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I want to do is I just want to give you the formula for the axis symmetry. I'll talk a lot about what the axis symmetry and how it's going to work, but for right now, I just want to give you what the axis symmetry is. So when we have a quadratic form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the axis of symmetry is this formula. Opposite of b divided, I'm sorry, formula is x equals opposite of b divided by 2 times a. All right? So all we're simply going to do is just evaluate this equation for our a, b, and c. So let's go and take a look at a quick example. Let's say I give you an equation, negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 5. All right? So if I gave an equation, I said, hey, what's the axis of symmetry? Well, you know that a equals negative 3, b equals 4, and c equals negative 5. Right? By following this format, you can say that a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is your constant. Everybody cool with that? What I did? OK. So then all you're going to do to find your axis symmetry is just do x equals opposite of b. That means the opposite sign. So since b is positive 4, it's going to be negative 4 divided by 2 times a, which is negative 3. So then we can simply reduce that. So negative 4 over negative 6 reduces down to a positive 2 thirds. Okay. Sometimes you'll have fractions, sometimes you'll have whole numbers. But that's going to be your axis of symmetry, or at least how to find it. We'll talk about where the axis of symmetry comes in.